Hello, Cancerians. I missed you guys. Cancerians, it's Sunday. Happy Sunday to you guys. I hope you're going to have a beautiful, restful day with your loved ones. So, Cancerians, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So, that's what we're going to do. First part of the video, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Cancer? What you'll be dealing with, facing, <coughs> and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how they're doing at this time, and then we're going to ask how they are relating to you uh, at this time emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling currently, especially in relation to you, Cancerians? So let's see this. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of cancer. For cancer's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards cancer? What will cancer be dealing with facing? And how is cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? How is cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming towards cancer? Wow, let's see what's coming towards Cancerians. Oh, Cancerians. Oh, um, you love your person a lot, but you don't feel they are worthy of your love. You see, you, you don't want to show them that you love them. Um, this is you a feeling they're not deserving of your love, even though you love them. You see, reverse Queen of Cups. This is you loving them deeply but not wanting to show them that you still love them or love them, period. This is you feeling they are undeserving of your love. Ooh, they broke your heart, Cancerians. I don't know if they're aware of it or not. This person broke your heart deeply. <clears throat> you feel major betrayal by this person. Yeah, Three of Swords, the worst card in the whole deck. So Three of Swords in a traditional deck is depicted uh, with a heart being stabbed by Three Swords. You feel very betrayed, unloved, unappreciated, heartbroken, disconnected from them. Even though you love them, you feel they're not deserving of your love. You don't want to show your love. This is you trying to heal from this heartbreak. This is you giving yourself time to heal from this heartbreak, to let go, to release. Yeah. This is you concentrating on important things in your life. <clears throat> yeah. You are releasing this person. You really are. You're letting them go. Yeah. You're letting this person go. Yeah. This is you concentrating on important things in your life. Also, people who've been there emotionally supportive of you over the years yeah you have a lot of people around you that are interested in you you know that yeah you have a lot of people interested in you cancerians viewing you as attractive alluring enigmatic yeah attractive to you and your energy universe please show us hmm this is you making a wise assessment of this whole situation trying to figure out how to proceed with your life correctly as far as your uh, love is concerned, uh, feelings are concerned, you see? Universe, please show us. This is you heartbroken deeply. Universe, please show us what's coming towards cancer and how is cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah. This is you. This has caused you a lot of drama. This has caused you a lot of stress, anxiety, sleepless nights. Ooh. Wow, this is this is heavy because here it shows that you are heartbroken. You don't feel they deserve your love yet. Uh, deep down inside, you hope to make amends with them, to make peace with them. Not necessarily to be with them, but you feel on a deeper level, you need to make amends with them, be on peaceful grounds with them. You don't want to feel this anger towards them, resentment towards them, grudges towards them, you see? You don't like that feeling. Yeah, it's heavy, heavy energy to feel such deep heartbreak, resentment, anger towards a person that you still love, you see? 
this is heavy. I'm sorry you're going through so much. Yeah, this is you. Yeah, uh, you, you feel you're going to have to make final decision about this person. Yeah, you, you know that you love this person and they love you. You're both very connected from past lifetimes. Yeah, look at this. Look how heartbroken you are. This is you thinking about what could have been regretful, sad, heartbroken. You see, dwelling on the past, thinking about what could have been, should have been, would have been. Hmm. This is temporary, though. You're going to get over this. You see, this is temporary. We all go through these emotional roller coasters, emotional ups and downs, highs and lows. Oh, you definitely, definitely not together. Break up, shake up. Something was toxic and it had to be dismantled for your own good. You see, it was heading in the wrong direction for the tower card to show up. That's universe stepping in and trying to correct you both in this situation to show you that it was toxic. It was not done properly. You see, you guys either uh, didn't work on this properly or one of you put too much work into it. The other one didn't care. You see, that's when the tower moment happens. The universe is showing you clearly what's wrong. Uh, showing you that this needs to be dismantled for your own good and you can try to work on it from another different standpoint yeah something was toxic between you two yeah this is you scared fearful unable to see clearly at this time what to do you feel a great need to clear the air with this person to communicate with them yeah you do you feel a great need to clear the air with this individual, even though you're not reaching out to them now, but you feel like they need to reach out to you. Yeah, like they need to reach out to you, extend the olive branch to you. You feel that very strongly. Mm -mm -mm. A lot of you are dealing with Aquarius. Huh. Sagittarius showing up here. Wow, this is heavy. Gemini. Let's see. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with Cancerians and how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? This is you quiet, retreating in solitude, not telling anyone how you feel. This is you just holding it inside, trying to figure out what to do next. You love this person a lot. Yeah, you do. Yes, you are extremely disappointed in them, heartbroken, but you love them deeply, not telling them. Deep down inside, you want to see them. Yeah, you want to see this person. You feel a great need to see them. Uh, I think it would help you greatly to determine whether it's truly over or not by seeing them. Yeah. This is you loving this person deeply still, but not telling them. You're quiet. You're not telling them how much you care for them emotionally. Yeah, you see, this is you trying to use your wisdom to figure out which way to proceed, how to handle this, what to do. Yeah, you love this person a lot. You walked away from them emotionally, but yet you love them still. You see, this is you feeling a great need to see them. Hmm. Let's see what's going on with this person. I'm curious now. What's going on with this person of yours? Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of cancer. For Cancer's highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Cancer, the soulmate of Cancer. What is currently going on with the soulmate of Cancer? And how is the soulmate of Cancer currently relating to Cancer, especially emotionally? And what's on soulmate's mind? <clears throat> Let's see, what's going on with your soulmate, Cancerians? They're waiting on you. <laughs> This person is waiting on you to take action, to initiate something. They're waiting, waiting, waiting. <clears throat> yeah. This person is hoping, wishing to hear from you, for you to take action. They love you deeply, but have not told you so. They, they even showing up here as hoping to have some kind of long-term relationship with you. This usually means marriage, commitment, engagement, living together especially with this combination, Ace of Cups, new beginnings. Hmm. 
yeah very attracted to you wanting new beginning with you this is interesting this person is actually attractive popular amongst other people respected in the business community or at the job you see a lot of people are very attracted to this individual so yes this person is very attractive enigmatic charismatic successful they have a lot of people uh running around them but this person is concentrating on you and i think it's because you're not uh, desperate for their attention you're not chasing them you see they used to being chased and I think that even though they like it they get bored with it they get turned off by people who are needy clingy desperate for their attention this person is uh, very passionate towards you but the love they feel for you is unexpressed they're not telling you that they love you or still love you they have a lot of respect for you because you're not desperate for their attention you see you're not chasing them they view you as not needing them for anything. You see, they placed you on a pedestal. You have self-respect, integrity, class. This is you not chasing anybody. You are the Empress energy, whether you're male or female. Empress doesn't need to chase anyone. You see, everybody chases the Empress and the Empress picks and chooses who is best for him or her. Empress could be a male or female. We're reading energies, not genders. So it doesn't matter what gender you are. You are represented with Empress energy, superior energy, you see? Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Cancer. And how is the soulmate of Cancer towards Cancer at this time? They're spying on you, checking up on you. They want so badly to communicate with you clear the air with you because they're holding this ace of swords pointing down but because it's pointing down they're not initiating the communication they're waiting to see if you're gonna do it so they're waiting on you you see empress again they want to be with you in lifetime commitment because they view you as empress somebody worthy of long-term relationship yeah i see this person feels they owe you explanations, peace offerings, apologies of some kind. <coughs> this person loves you a lot, but is hiding it from you. Beautiful. The sun, the best card in the whole deck, representing Leo. So some of you are dealing with Leo and Taurus. This person feels they want you. They don't want anybody else. Yeah, they don't want anybody else. And I think what did it for them is the fact that you don't chase them like everybody else does. You see, you, they know you don't need them <clears throat> for anything. Yeah, they know that. You're not desperate. Yeah, they're planning to re-enter your life. Very slow to action, though. They're very slow to action, Kim Syrians. Yeah, this person loves you a lot. You see, they're hoping. Deep down inside, they're yearning for long-term commitment. Ooh, somebody walked away. So I think they gave you a cold shoulder too many times and you got tired of it. You see, they ignored you or walked away from you, uh, abandoned you emotionally or physically or both, and you got tired of it. Yeah. Wow. Uh, this is them feeling a great need to communicate with you, to clear the air with you. They extremely guarded with their heart, not showing emotions. They're holding Ace of Swords again, like here, but it's pointing down. This person feels so much need to communicate with you, yet they're holding back on that communication. Ooh, this is heavy. Let's clarify that Empress energy. So they're hiding from you how deeply they love you. Um, hmm. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer? And how is the soulmate of cancer towards cancer? Look how guarded they are with their heart. You see the sword again, not pointing up, kind of slanted. It, it, they dying to talk to you, but yet they not reaching out on purpose. You see, uh, hmm, little stubborn energy showing up on them. A lot of you are dealing with Leo, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. <laughs> oh my goodness this is how they view you but honestly this is how you feel towards this person you're angry with them you see you're ready for war with this person you don't trust them 
You see, you, do you see your stance and how your sword is weighed up, raised up, kind of uh, slanted, but raised up. You see, theirs is uh, slanted, but pointing down. Yours is slanted, but pointing up, like you're ready to tell them off. This person pissed you off. Whether you whether they aware of it or not, they pissed you off, disappointed you, and you feel like they're not deserving of you. Yeah, even though you love them still. Oh, you are showing up as reverse nine of pentacles. This person doesn't want you to be available to another person. They feel it would hurt them deeply. They think you moved on and are interested in somebody else and it hurt their ego. It hurt their pride. Yeah, that you're not interested in them, that you don't show interest in them. You're not chasing them. It hurt their pride deeply. They think you have somebody else on your mind or somebody else is offering you some kind of relationship. Yeah. Ooh, this is heavy. Whew. Um, Cancerians, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true long-term intentions and plans for you. Then we're going to ask what they're hiding from you at this time, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So cancer, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.